we're going to use technical analysis to see whether this stock is a good buy right now. We're going to look at four technical metrics, the stock's relative strength index, the 20-day, 50-day, and 200-day simple moving averages. We'll grade these four metrics on a scale totaling 25 points. The relative strength index measures the speed and change of the stock's price movement. It helps traders identify overbought and oversold conditions. RSI ranges from 0 to 100. Usually an RSI above 70 suggests the stock is overpriced and is due to drop. An RSI below 30 suggests the stock is oversold and is due to bounce back. When these conditions are met, traders can see whether the stock is worth buying right now. It's worth 10 points. The Simple Moving Average is a popular technical tool that smooths out price data to identify trends. Here is the average closing price for 20, 50, and 200 trading days. The 20-day covers short-term trends, the 50-day covers mid-term trends, and the 200-day covers the long-term trend of the stock. The way I look at the moving averages is that the lower the percentage, the more undervalued the stock is compared to its moving averages. That means value. A higher moving average means it's trading higher than its averages. If you want to know more, join my Patreon. You'll get access to the analyses of hundreds of companies, which are updated all the time. Go to patreon.com slash growthshares or click on the link in the description. Putting everything together, we have a good idea whether the stock is a good buy right now. A point total above 13 means the stock is primed to rise. A number under 13 means the stock might drop in the short term. But remember, technical indicators only tell us the short term story. If you're a long term investor, I have other methods of analyzing the company. Check them out. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.